Rabbits are one of the last domesticated animals, although finding the exact time of their domestication can be hard to trace. Recent scientific evidence claims rabbits were domesticated long ago and not at a single location. There's even a famous anecdote that French monks domesticated rabbits in the 7th century. Scientists examine the DNA of the rabbits that are domesticated today, disapproving of that popular myth. So, when exactly were rabbits domesticated? And how? Keep watching to learn more about these lovely animals and when they became human companions. The myth about domesticating rabbits. According to the commonly believed myth about rabbit domestication, the Pope proclaimed that rabbit meat was fish in the 7th century and that you could eat it during Lent. The monks allegedly rushed to domesticate and produce rabbits so they could eat them during Christmas festivities. It's a nice story, and it's often used to ridicule religious rules and how easily they are bent when needed. However, chances are that it's simply not true and a myth developed centuries later. The genetic difference between wild and domesticated rabbits. There's a clear difference in the genes of domesticated and wild rabbits. This difference started to appear about 12,000 years ago. This points out a date when the animals were first domestic. It happened millennia before any pope or a religious decree. However, the difference in the DNA doesn't prove that the animals were domesticated since it doesn't tell us anything about how they were fed or taken care of. For this, we must turn to archaeological evidence. The archaeological evidence. There's a lot of archaeological evidence about the long relationship between humans and rabbits. Evidence shows they were hunted in the Paleolithic era and that Romans housed and bred them. They were forced to breed in the Middle Ages and used for food. Rabbits are used as pets and bred for their features other than meat, but that's a very modern approach, going back to the 19th century. Domestication is a process. Most scientists will tell you that it's impossible to pinpoint a moment in time when an animal has been domesticated because there's no such a moment. It's a process that takes generations before an animal changes its behavior and gains new physical traits. Rabbits are still being domesticated today since they are bred with new knowledge and science and often for their physical characteristics alone. Rabbits used as a meat source. There's evidence that rabbit meat was commonly used in ancient Rome and that the Romans had the infrastructure to breed rabbits for this purpose. They also had cuisine that was able to prepare rabbit meat in a variety of different ways. The practice continued in the Middle Ages, and at that point, there were several rabbit species with other features. During World War I and II, the population was called upon to breed more rabbits to replace other types of meat used to feed the army. It became a commonly used food, and many people bred rabbits, making new recipes along the way. Breeding rabbits professionally. Breeding rabbits to find and produce certain traits beyond meat and its taste came to be in the 16th century but in a very rudimentary form. It started in Germany at one of its many courts at the time. The first exhibitions and competitions are a product of Victorian England. Breeding clubs were founded in 1874 in Germany. It became a common hobby among country gentlemen in Europe in the 20th century and still exists in many parts of the world. All these events led to the changes in the rabbits we know now. Rabbits as pets. Rabbits as children's pets were a later development regarding the relationship between humans and rabbits. It started in the 19th century, mainly in Western Europe and the US. They were considered appropriate pets for kids and often gifted as such. However, rabbits may not be the best pet option for kids as they are somewhat fragile, and kids can easily hurt them by accident. Still, they can be house trained quickly and much faster than some dogs, which is why some people decide to keep them as pets. The change in rabbits' brains. Research shows that domesticated rabbits have physical characteristics that make them different and calmer than wild rabbits. These developed over time, and it's not yet possible to state when the change in physical characteristics came to be. It's mainly noticeable in the brains of tame rabbits. The amygdala, the part of the brain that processes fear and anxiety, is much smaller in a domestic rabbit. In some cases, it can be as much as 10% smaller. This means that domesticated rabbits haven't had anything to fear for generations since they have no predators. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.